just two people walking home. Yet there's peril, there's anguish, there's fear. What do I do? If I hang back, it's like I'm gonna pounce. If I run, it's like I'm gonna attack. Surely there's something we can do to stop this from happening every single day. So this situation won't change unless us men make some changes. And I just don't know what those changes are. I really want to help, but I just do not know what to do. The appalling murder of Sarah Everhard has brought to attention the threat women face every single day, compounded with shocking growing levels of domestic abuse. However, rather than change, I see an understandable escalation in anger, fear and hate and a worrying growing divide between men and women. I'm an idealist, just a regular middle-aged bloke and a father of an 18-year-old daughter. I believe in respect, kindness, fairness and equality. And as a man, I want to do something positive as a normal bloke, what can I do? I started talking to my friend Gary Taylor Nea, who, amongst other things, supports victims of domestic abuse and has dedicated her life to ending this despicable crime. We agreed men can do more, and the defensive, not all men, wasn't working. We also agreed there must be a way to create a positive change, and surely men and women can work together. So how can men help to make women feel safe? Surely there must be a simple way that I, as an ordinary man, can do something positive and impactful that will make a difference. We will build, then launch, a positive campaign that could simplistically show how men can help women feel safe. There are actually some strong positive noises coming from men. If you look hard enough, you will find some positive articles from men encouraging a positive change. Some incredible people are working hard to create change already. Let me say that again. If you look hard enough, you will find men trying to make a positive change. Because at the moment, the message simply isn't getting through. Surely, if we work together, we can begin to make small and effective changes. I've decided I'm gonna stand up and do something. I'm going to talk to women's groups and listen to ideas for change. I'm going to listen to male experts looking to try and make a change. I'm also going to talk to the resistors, share ideas, talk, engage, and discuss them. Together, we can develop a campaign that is simple, impactful, and will make a positive change. A campaign we can all support and end division between sexes and stop this situation from happening anymore.